<laughs> it just it never gets old. I could watch that thing every day for the rest of my life and it would never get old. Start your engine for Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Ooh, doggy. I am pumped for this. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Huh. I never realized how insanely similar to the opening of Crash Bandicoot Warped that was. <laughs> Literally the exact same thing, except for they come out in vehicles instead of not vehicles. Huh. What's going on everybody? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play series that you guys voted on, by the way. Or at least some of you. Welcome to Let's Play Crash Team Racing. One of the great kart racers of our time. It is, it is absolutely beautiful. I love this game. I haven't played it in a really long time, though. I was able to find a copy of it at my uh, local used game store probably about six months ago. I was able to play it once just to make sure that it worked, and uh, and then after that I kind of got sucked into other stuff. But this is going to be fun, man. I, I, had, I hadn't really thought about this for a series until... Until just recently, I put up a uh, I put up a video asking you guys to help me, um, you know, think of some different um, potential series here. And a couple of you had mentioned this, and I was like, "Oh, dude, that would be fucking awesome!" <laughs> and so that is what we're going to do. I love racing games; they're they're absolutely one of my favorite genres of things, and I'm good at them, and that helps. <laughs> so without further ado, my friends, let's play some CTR. We're gonna start up a brand new adventure mode. And it's going to be cool. And that's one thing that I love about this game is that it has, instead of it just being, you know, like your standard kart racer, there's at least like a little bit more to it. You've got like the whole overworld deal. And uh, so it kind of gives it a little bit extra, a little extra mustard in there, you know. And I do love that all of the different, um, all the different characters in here all have different statistics. So, you know, you can have different people that cater to different play styles. And that shit is awesome. However... I think that it would almost be a disservice of sorts <laughs> to not pick the classic man himself, you know? Even though a lot of these a lot of these characters are pretty sick, but it would be wrong. It would be it would be a terrible injustice if I did not go with the namesake himself, and so we are going to pick Crash. It seems like the only way to roll. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Or at least gonna go with uh, with my actual initials here. I feel weird putting LCP in things. I mean, I know that you know AMF fifteen thirty four is totally not my it's not my namesake anymore for this channel, but it just feels weird when I don't use it for things. You know, like I've been using it for for a number of things now. Uh, I've been using LCP for a number of things now, and it just feels really awkward to do that. <laughs> so we're gonna keep it this way. Welcome to the adventure of Venus. You can travel around this <laughs> his, his, his facial his movements are so jerky. It's really uncomfortable, actually. on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp void. Okay, all right, all right. I, I, I totally know. You're, you are not telling me something that I don't know right now. <laughs> If, if you didn't know what he was saying, basically he's like, oh, go drive on one of these warp pads and you can play. That's pretty much all it was. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so there's all sorts of different collectibles and things that we need to get our hands on, and, and we'll certainly do that. I want to try to shoot for the highest completion percentage I can here, which I assumedly would be 100. But you know how games go anymore. Like, they're, they're not truly 100% anymore. They're like, when you think about, like, Castlevania games, it's like, the, the actual full fucking thing is like 220% or something crazy, and it's it, it's simply kind of ridiculous anymore. Okay, I gotta remember how, I gotta remember all the buttons here. I don't remember a lot of these things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit rusty for the first couple of episodes here, so bear with me on this. <laughs> Which is funny, because one of the enemies is actually a bear. So how about that? So, I mean, it, as far as, like, graphics are concerned, it's... It, I think it lacks behind Mario Kart just a little bit, but again, I mean, graphics don't 
graphics aren't the, they're not the end-all, be-all in games. They, they, they never should be. As long as the game plays really well, then, you know, as long as the graphics aren't just, like, absolutely insanely terrible, then, you know, I think it's all good. But it does have a lot of similar components, you know, where, where all of the, uh, you know, you get better weapons when you're not in first place. So, I mean, that's... Oh, you fucker. <laughs> of course, of course. One other thing about this game, too, is, if I remember correctly, at least, um, you actually, your cart goes faster the more apples that you have. So, that is something that you always want to make sure you have plenty of them. Um, just, you know, for your own benefit. So, I will always, I think it, I think it maxes out at 10, if I remember correctly. So, we'll see what we can do. This game also has really good music. I, 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 I always forget that this game actually had a pretty solid soundtrack. It, oh, damn it, I thought I had him. Got the thing out just a little bit too late. Okay, we need to be careful here. I don't think there's actually, like, a like a backwards perspective view that I can look at. Really wish that there was. But we're just gonna have to roll with it this way for now. We're keeping them at bay, though. <laughs> just barely. They are definitely hot on my tail right now, and that is not tight. But we're gonna win! <laughs> yeah! Saving the best lap for last. That's that's what I'm all about, you know? <laughs> I do love that, like, all, there's, like, all of this confetti that is just ready to pour down from the heavens. It's like God's watching up there, you know? He had, he had his popcorn ready, and he's like, Dude, if this fucking guy wins, I am just going to rain down all of this from uh, from up here and I pity I take pity on the poor soul or souls that have to pick all this up cuz I'm going to let it rain for like a solid, you know, forever unless somebody gets away from the screen. So, yeah, what do you do? But uh, that's one thing that, that's one thing I also love about kart racer games or just racing games in general is that they are they are generally for me as far as experiences go. They're very relaxing, you know, and I'm going to need as much relax uh, relaxation as I can possibly have, or relaxment, as I was about to say. What the fuck kind of word is that? <laughs> Congratulations, you win a trophy. Thanks. I'm so glad that I was able to get one of those. The more Wampa fruit you collect, the faster. I know. The the more fruit you get, the faster the cart goes. I just got done talking about that, actually. So we've got enough time, it would appear, to go at least knock out one more race. So we'll go in here and uh, take on Ruse Tubes. This level is a pain. <laughs> it, it's it's a pain, but it's not that bad. I do love um, I do love the track designs for most of these. I, I I think that they're they're particularly underrated. I think they're really good, man. And they're just there's there's a lot of creativity that goes along in these, and just like the the visual goodness of all of it is is a lot of fun. I, I think that they that Naughty Dog really outdid themselves with this title, man. It's it's very good. Um, oh god. We'll just have to see how this all goes. Oh god. But yeah, I'm gonna need this as something to to keep my stress levels down. I, I things have been particularly stressing in my life as of late. <laughs> With so many different things, I was actually I'm in the market for buying a new car, and uh, the guy that I'm supposed to be going to uh, buy it from, he's a good friend of mine. I was supposed to go uh, tomorrow morning actually and go to like this giant ass warehouse that's just loaded wall to wall with cars, uh, but unfortunately, uh, what the hell just happened? That was weird. <laughs> I fired that off and it like went straight off to the left, like off the track, and then came back in. That was, that was really strange. I forget too, actually, um, when you have when you're totally maxed out on apples. I think you get like more powerful versions of weapons. Yeah, you totally do. Yeah, because this normally is green, so this is yeah. I forgot about this. This is totally awesome. Um, but yeah, so I was I was gonna totally go and, and check out this warehouse, but he had gone on vacation, got back yesterday, and uh, told me that he wasn't gonna be able to do it until next week. So that was like a super bummer, man. I've been I've been trying to you know search around for new cars for for quite some time now, and it just seems like every time I, I'm about to catch a break on that is when something else comes up that 
you know, just keeps me away from it. But it's gonna happen. It, it's definitely gonna happen, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get something awesome, and I'm really pumped for it. And then as soon as I do that, I can start uh, I can start getting into the mode for apartment hunting. Holy shit! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all three of those were actually pretty good laps. Again, though, saving the best for last, but that was that was pretty solid. The one thing that kind of the, the one thing that kind of bums me out in this game is like the little the little bunny hop type of thing that you can do. They don't jump up very high, which I think is I mean it, again I'm it's kind of nitpicky because you're obviously you're defying gravity. <laughs> I mean you're you're making a a fucking heavy ass go kart jump up in the air on its own. So here I am nitpicking. Oh, he's not going fucking high enough. It's <laughs> what a piece of bullshit! And again, that's that's a very, that's it's a very poor comparison to make with Mario Kart. That's that that is that's not a fair thing to do. But you know, it, it would it would have been cooler if you get just a little more air out of that. Um, why is the tiger just like flashing his ass at everybody? <laughs> I know I got third. I don't even care. You guys can take a look. <laughs> you guys can take a look at my sphincter for all I care. Uh, Congratulations. Trophy. You're damn right I did. Oh, good. Good. More info I don't need to hear. When you get a TNT crate on your head... Stop. I know, when you get a TNT crate on your head, all you have to do is jump up and down and it'll go away. Thank you so much. <laughs> at, le at least, you know, all these all these things are coming back to me right now. So, that will be alright. We actually have more... we have time for another race, actually. So we're gonna go to the Mystery Caves! I actually did not anticipate being able to knock out three whole races in the first little uh, little deal here. But hey, good times for everyone. Good times for everyone. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, this is the one that has the weird little platform things inside of like the lava or whatever it is. Yeah, super tight. Alright, we even got the good start, too. The good starts in this game are, are kind of tough to get sometimes. Okay, they're definitely not pits of lava. <laughs> I was way off on that. Um, but they are... I mean, they're pits of weird, like, noxious gas, I guess. <laughs> I mean, for all I know, that, that could just be, like, you know, massive, you know, like, turtle gas or whatever the hell those things are. It's kind of... kind of what it looks like a little bit. It's gonna take me a lot of time... Oh, shit. It's gonna take me a lot of time to get used to throwing projectiles forward <laughs> with those little chemical bottles. I think it's gonna be a little a little bit of time before I can even uh, be marginally good at throwing those. Oh shit, that wasn't good. That was also not very good. Ooh, that was almost good actually. It was almost not too bad. Would love to have something better than that. Oh no, I missed it. What kind of bullshit was that? That was an awful. That was that was an awful lap in terms of of not absolutely sucking at those. I think I'll be alright though. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, dude, I love I love the clock thing. The clock thing is great. <laughs> I don't know why it makes the other cards totally freak out like that, but I'll take it. It's just weird, like, what exactly would a clock have anything to do in terms of <laughs> of making your cart just go completely wonky as hell? <laughs> I don't know how it works. Oh damn, that was awesome. Not only did he totally miss me with that, oh, it, it fades away. That sucks. Okay, this is good. This is good. We even get a nitro box out of it. An even wider blast radius for all of your needs. And if I remember correctly, I think this is just a standard turbo. So I'm going to save that, because I feel like I'm probably going to need that at, at one moment or another in here. I shall stave you off. Man, that first lap was really bad. <laughs> I mean, I know three seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but that's definitely a lot. <laughs> Shit, I picked the wrong one again. You know, as far as, like, track shape goes, this has a, a fairly a fairly uh, similar look to, uh, what is it, Yoshi's Valley in Mario Kart? I wonder if that was, uh, I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely some some differences in there, but it it is I think eh, vaguely similar actually. Oh god! Man, that thing actually uh, that wasn't too bad. That was a that was a good quality turbo to use. 
Yeah, all right. 3-0 and to start things off. Neo Cortex is not doing so hot back there. <laughs> he looks so depressed. He's just like, oh, man. I spent so many years developing doomsday devices that I forgot to learn how to drive. What a drag. <laughs> I, can't, I can't blame the guy, though. I mean... Realistically, I think I'd probably enjoy developing weapons of mass destruction more than driving go-karts. I could be wrong, though. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Not saying that I would ever give up a, a life of driving go-karts for a living and bountiful prizes with, uh, with that racked-up young lady there. <laughs> I mean, not like she's attractive in my eyes, but for, for these other, you know, anthropomorphic people here. Why does Engine have a bunch of bullet holes in his back? <laughs> what? What happened there? Um, but yeah, not like she fits my taste or anything, because I think I'm just a little bit more into humans, but for them, they're probably like, dude, she's huge. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I totally get you. Alright, my friends. Well, I think we're in pretty good shape right now. We, uh, we knocked out a, a good solid three... Um, a good solid three things there. So we're gonna go save right now with this huge screen. <laughs> I mean, look how big this thing is! Imagine, imagine playing anything on that. Or even, uh, like imagine playing like Fallout on that since it has the cool green screen. That would be awesome! That thing is enormous. This is the load save screen. Thank you, Aku Aku. I couldn't have possibly known. I thought it was the oversized vending machine. Thank you so much for the illuminating report. But yeah, dude, I'd love to have that giant thing. Despite the fact that it's got the, the, the vertical line thing going on there. Or horizontal going vertical or whatever. That would be annoying after a while, but I think you could probably get over it. So, hey man, this is going to be a really fun series. I hope you guys decide to stick around and, uh, and enjoy it with me. But until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.